In the last session, we have understood the five steps to solve a ML problem. In this session, we will learn how to tune a model for better performance. So to improve the performance, there are three main aspects we can look at data, algorithm and training hyperparameters. So in terms of data, there are two things that we can do. Either we can add more data or we can add more variety of data. So in context to our model, what does adding more data means? We could so we could have added many more images of Leonardo DiCaprio and we could have added many more uh, images of Tom Cruise. So to start with, we had just added only five images of both. But if we would have added many more images of Leonardo DiCaprio and many more images of Tom Cruise, then the model would have also performed better. And the second thing, what we could have done with the images to increase the, the volume of data would have been to use a data augmentation technique where we could have introduced some kind of noise or inaccuracies into the images. Like we could have zoomed in, zoomed out some images or we could have from one image, we could have created 10 images of multiple contrast. So what, what it would have done, one, increase the number of, uh, number of images that is going to be fed to the artificial neural network and it also increases the variation of the images, right? The third thing what we could have done in context to our model would have been to feed the artificial neural network with more variety of data. When I say variety, initially we have all only trained our system on images, right? What about if we also train our images on videos of Tom Cruise and Leonardo DiCaprio? This will certainly help improve the accuracy. Right, so these are the three things we, which we could have done on the data front. Now let's talk about algorithm. So in our case, we have used artificial neural network as the algorithm. And as we understand that our artificial neural network consists of an input layer, an output layer and a number of hidden layer, right? And the more, the most critical parameters of uh, an artificial neural network is the number of hidden layers and the number of neurons. So in our case, since we were not able to manipulate with uh, you know the number of hidden layers or number of neurons in teachable machines, but this, this is a very, very good parameter by which we can improve the accuracy of the model by playing with the number of hidden layers and the number of neurons, right? If we increase the number of neurons for an extremely complex problem, then there is a high chance that the accuracy may improve, right? It may improve. And, you know, if, if we decrease the number of neurons but increase the number of hidden layers, it may happen that the accuracy level still improves. So these are two parameters uh, in artificial neural network which you can play with to improve the performance of the model. And then comes to the third part, which is the model, right? That they, these are called model training hyperparameters like the epoch rate, batch size and learning rate. And as in the previous session, uh, where I've spoken about that, you know, treat them as a mechanism to tune your, similar to a mechanism of tuning your radio station, right? So similarly in model training also, when you kind of try, try to tune your model on the basis of these hyperparameters, then there is a chance that it can improve the model for better performance right i have throughout the session i have not gone too much in depth of model hyperparameters that is why i am not explaining this in depth but remember this that these are like your radio uh, you know a tuning mechanism in radio where you, if you tune your radio correctly your performance of your radio is perfect right so eventually closing this session with a simple concept that these three things like data, algorithm and training can actually help you tune your model for great performance. Right. So now we have covered the six steps that are required to solve a ML problem. And I hope that now you understand that you can simply solve any ML problem with just following these six steps, right?
it is as simple as that and this is not limited to a computer vision problem this can be applied to a natural language processing problem to a robotic problem to many other problems right so start by identifying prepare your data select an algorithm train your model predict and then constantly tune your model with data algorithm and model hyperparameters all right thank you